So welcome back to uh, yet another Python 101 video tutorial and today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be learning how to read files using Python. So uh, what I mean by that is um, you're probably familiar with being able to say print hello world save it and then click run module or F5 and by doing that we get printed hello world. But um, what if we don't want our input to be, well, okay, in the case of the print statement, the input is whatever's in between the, um, per, or the uh, quotation marks or the uh, double quotes. Uh, and, uh, well, then that's not, that works in uh, most circumstances, but sometimes we don't want uh, our input to be just within the program. Sometimes we want to get input from a user, which is when we would use the input uh, function. And sometimes we want to read input or uh, get our input from a file. And uh, that's when we would uh, read a file. So uh, what I'm going to be showing you is how to read a file and then we will be uh, creating kind of a simple example on when you would uh, maybe do it or use for it. So what I'm going to do is, uh, well, reading a file in Python is actually really simple. So what you do is, uh, the way it works is first you open the file, then you, uh, I don't know, extract or uh, get any info you want from the file. Uh, ignore the orange. I'm just uh, showing, I'm just writing down what we're going to do. And then after you finish with the file, you have to close the file. So we just say close the file. It's obviously not this simple, like it's obviously not written in plain English, but it's uh, pretty straightforward and easy to do. So first thing we need to do is we need to create a variable called file, or uh, I don't know, my file. And that's equal to the open function, which uh, is the uh, file we want to open. So in between the two single quotes or double quotes or whatever, is where we give the name of the file we want to open and since this file uh, this python file is located on my desktop it's going to look for files on my desktop so which is why i created two text files my file.txt and file2.txt and file2.txt is just to um it's uh, just for the uh, second example of uh using the file um open thing in python just uh, reading files in python uh in general so uh, for the moment, I'm going to be opening my file.txt. So if we were to say my file.txt, and if it was in a different location, like if I had it in a folder called my files, then I would just put that in front of it. And if I had it in, I don't know, a folder, if I was in a folder called my files, and I had, if I read a file.py was in my files, or the folder my files, all we'd have to do to get back to my desktop to read my file.txt is put a double or a dot dot forward slash and then what I'll do is go back like go up a directory so that would go from desktop to Francis uh, if my file was located in there but it's not so we can just leave it like this so now we've opened uh, the file what we need to do is we need to get any information from it so I could just create a variable called info equals uh, my file dot read lines and now all of the info is stored in a variable called info. So now we, uh, we've got our information from the file. We need to close the file. So you can probably assume, or I mean, you can probably guess what we do. My file dot close. And what this does is just closes the file when we're done with it. So now we've done that. I'm just going to print info, the uh, variable info. So we should get the contents of the file. So now if I run the module. You can see it's um, given us the uh, contents of the file and you can prove that by going to context and as you can see the uh, what's written in the Python shell and in context is exactly the same. Oops. Uh, so what you can, uh, whoops. You can uh, also, um, I will actually we'll leave that for later because that's a bit complicated. But now we've actually read our file. Uh, we want to be able to get a user to specify a file we want to open. So uh, that's actually really, really simple. So instead of doing this, what we do is we'll just say, I don't know, user input. 
and then we just go above here and create a variable called user input which is whoops, equal to the input function and in the input function we just say what we want so we can say enter the name of a file whoops, a file you want to read and then now if we uh, run that module it says enter the name of the file you want to read so I could say my file dot txt whoops uh, let's have a look why that not work okay so I think the reason we got this error is because as you can see it literally took what we said but it didn't surround it in um, quotes so we can actually do that ourselves by just putting uh, whoops double quotes around it and then a plus and in the double quotes we put a single quote and we do the same for here uh, so double quotes and in between them we put a single quote so what this will do is it'll take our literal whoops uh, um, it will take what we literally say so what we need to do is we need to include the uh, single and uh, double quotes not single I mean we need to include these uh, these single quotes around the string because it is a string and uh, whoops so uh, what we're going to do here is we're just going to go back and run the module again so here it says enter the name of the file you want to read so uh, my file dot txt okay so I uh, realized the problem and it's because we actually need to use the raw input function because we're dealing with strings and things and in that case we don't need these so uh, whoops if we were to uh, run this again and uh, we were to say my file dot txt we get printed out the contents of that file uh, we can run it again we can print the contents of the other file so file 2txt and we get printed this is the second file so uh, I hope you enjoyed this video it's uh, quite short but you know that's just uh, there's not a whole lot you can really say about just one uh, aspect of Python such as this but uh, I mean there's uh, more exciting things to come soon like making windows and GUIs and things like that with Python and uh, frameworks and things so uh, I hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to comment like favorite and subscribe and I will see you next time